I was hearing rumblings about it uh, from friends of mine in the most unusual places. I, you know, I would go to different concerts and people that were involved with the band would say, oh, there's a script that they're writing, a uh, script about you. And, uh, and I was like, yeah, I, that just sounds impossible and that's just not interesting to me whatsoever. And then I would hear about it more and more. That it kept coming, uh, the news of this screenplay about some version of me was in the air. And I kept saying to my agency, I, I'm just not interested. I, I have no interest in, in playing myself in a movie. It's just not something I'd want to do. And then it started to heat up and I got another call saying, well, there's this script and, and my agent, Andrew Finkelstein, said, this is really something you should look at. And then my other agent read 10 pages and said, absolutely not. No, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Well, then I got a letter from Tom Gormican, the, the writer, director, and it was a nice letter. And um, it was the kind of letter that um, I could tell had genuine enthusiasm in it. I could tell it um, it was intelligent and it and it looked like uh, someone that that actually had some knowledge about my filmography. And I thought, okay, that's interesting. You know, I started doing this when I was fifteen professionally. And to say that after 42 years that this is something new in my life in cinema, and it is, is, is kind of extraordinary. I felt like I've done a little bit of everything already, but I've never done anything like this before, which meant that the experience with bo was both exciting and terrifying. This is really trippy, <laughs> you know. I had like I started getting anxiety that they're actually calling me Nick and they're actually calling me Mr. Cage and I'm like, "Wait, I'm not supposed to be. I'm always a character. I'm always playing a part." So, it was terrifying and it was exciting and I will probably never see the movie. <laughs> it was a little bit like going down memory lane as far as it pertains to Nikki. Like, what was my energy like back then? And I would look at some old interviews. I remember I kept looking at the Wogan interview in England that was kind of, you know, spectacular for both good and bad reasons. And um, thinking, well, that that's a good model in terms of the look. I mean, I remember at first, Tom wanted it to be like Con Air. I go, but Con Air is Cameron Poe. That's not Nikki Coppola or Nikki Cage. That, that's Cameron Poe. This, this is what I was like. This is the actual personality. He goes, well, that's a little, you know, keyed up. I said, so let's find a, a way to relax it a little bit, but let's use that for the look and the, and, and the energy. Um, and I thought that was a good choice. Sharon was great as my ex-wife in the movie. Boy, is she, is she uh, the real deal? And, uh, and Lily Sheen was, um, there's a real kind heart there. And I, you know, it's hard not to feel paternal when you're working in a situation. Plus, I've never had the, 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 the bliss or the pleasure of, um, you know, being blessed with both, uh, you know, sons and a daughter. I, 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 I have two boys, and that's it. But that's good because in the way they're telling this story, it, it supports the fictionalized account of Nicolas Cage. You know, I, I do things like if I'm making a comedy, there are dramatic moments. If I'm making a drama, I try to make sure there's comedic moments. This is a comedy, but Tom really wanted to play up the drama. He wanted it to be sincere. He didn't want it to be overly broad. He didn't want it to be, you know, overly goofy that, you know, if there's tears, there's real tears. And I subscribe to that. Whatever the fascination has been on the internet, the memification, whatever it is that I'm, because of 
a performance style that was intentionally chosen by myself to explore a dynamic in film performance that went into surrealism or the abstract or what have you, uh, people in media have, because, and you attach that to a couple blips in one's personal life over 42 years, and suddenly that becomes the perception of an individual when in fact, I'm, I find myself really rather boring, um, and I find myself really rather, to, to many people's disappointment, normal. <laughs> so, I'm excited to, for them to laugh and get some humor out of this, which we can all use right about now, and I'm excited for them to go on the ride. The, the, the narrative is unique. It, it goes through all kinds of twists and turns that are unusual for a studio film, a commercial studio film. This movie is taking risks.